Hey everybody, Jeff with Covet the Camper. Well, today I'm pulling out all my 12 volt batteries and I'm putting in two uh, deep cycle six volt golf cart batteries. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got two deep cycle 12 volt batteries that were installed in uh, June of 2015. And uh, yeah, they're, they've just about had it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys pulled out and I'm putting in two uh, 235 amp hour uh, six volt batteries. So I'm gonna wire them up for 12 volt. So I'll have uh, 235 amp hours, but with uh, two batteries. I actually have three batteries in this truck camper now, uh, three 12 volt batteries. I've got these two in the main compartment. And then I've got one wired in here um, where my controller is. So I'm going to pull all these out and uh, I'll take two of them in for a core and get the new ones. Alright, so I've disconnected the positive and the negative from this uh, third battery and disconnected those same wires from the negative or the positive on the back battery and the negative on the front battery, uh, which connected that, which connected that uh, third battery in line. So that battery is completely out of the system now. I'll get it pulled out. That one will actually be one of my uh, core exchanges. So I know that um, the two X sides that are in the in the main compartment. I know that those are. Pretty well shot. Um, they've been good batteries. The Exide um, Group uh, 27s have been really good. I've had them in there since um, 2015. So, you know, got uh, four years of service out of them. And uh, I hit them pretty hard, um, you know, with the uh, inverter setup that I've got, you know, running the coffee pot and all that other garbage that I've got in the truck camper. So they've, uh, they've done pretty well, but um, I'm, I'm excited about uh, moving on to some uh, six volt uh, golf cart batteries and uh, we'll see how those go. I actually went with the, uh, the Duracell, I'll put the model numbers and everything in here, but uh, the Duracell six volt batteries and um, they're 235 amp hours each. So, well, you'll end up with 235 amp hours at 12 volts. So in this compartment, I've got my charge controller, my uh, Renogy charge controller, which is a, a 20 amp MPPT um, tracer. Uh, that's been a really good charge controller. I've got my um, switch right there, my, my breakable fuse. So right now the solar is uh, cut off, I'm not uh, putting any charge onto the batteries. And um, I did that obviously before I started taking any connections off. Uh, I you know, broke that uh, 30 amp breaker, so got nothing coming in. So you can also come inside and uh, on your converter box here, um, you can either flip your main or, you know, flip your converter, uh, power it down. You don't want any, uh, any you know, power going from the uh, converter to the batteries. So flip that thing off. And of course, if you're plugged into shore power, unplug. Put on your gloves and your safety goggles. Loosen up uh, all the connections and make sure that they are clear from the terminals before you start pulling the batteries. So I've got everything kind of gathered up on one side. And uh, back there I made sure that everything is uh, off to the back side. Now that they're out, uh, we can go ahead and get that tray cleaned up. And uh, if we want to kind of lube the tracks a little bit so it uh, slides in and out a little bit more smoothly for next time, we can uh, do that. So, all right, let's get these dudes out of here and uh, take them to Batteries Plus. That's who I'm using for the, uh, the Duracell 6 volt batteries. All right, load it up. Let's head into town and get these new batteries. All right, $245.90 for two 
uh, Duracell Ultra 6 volt deep cycle golf cart batteries. They're the GC15. Let's go get these suckers installed. All right, I'm back here with the uh, batteries and just wanted to make a note here when you pick up your batteries or even when you order your batteries, if you're going to call it in, um, make sure that you have them check the date, the manufacture date on the uh, on the batteries that you're going to be purchasing. Um, I made sure that these were the, the newest ones that they had. So these are actually manufacture date of uh, April of 2019. So and today is uh, the 34. 30th of April so they were uh, manufactured this month so they're fresh all right so this guy here uh, meters out at 6.26 volts this one meters out at 6.30 volts so that's pretty good matching I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed so they can start charging uh, of course I've got the the solar um, on the camper so it should uh, charge up just fine with the uh, MPPT controller all right, so also these new batteries weigh in at uh, about 62 pounds, and uh, the old Exide batteries were uh, 61 pounds. So I had three of those. I'm going to two of these uh, six volt batteries. So yeah, I'm saving 60 pounds here. Of course, I had three 12 volt batteries, and uh, I was running about 300 and I think about 315. Uh, amp hours. So I'm losing some amp hour capacity, but I, I think these six volt batteries are going to be a little bit better as far as power delivery. Uh, but time will tell for that. Um, I'll have them on this next trip that I'm taking down to Texas. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of boondocking on the way down and on the way back. So yeah, we'll put them through their paces and uh, probably do a full review uh, after I get back. Also, before I get these things installed, I'm just going to real quick check the water level and um, you know, make sure that we're uh, pretty good as far as covering the plates. So these just have the twist cap. You twist that little lever and the caps come off. And you're probably not gonna be able to see this on video, but water level looks good on all three cells. So put this one in and then get the second one checked. And of course, after I get them installed and they're charged for a day, uh, I'll, I'll take them off of the solar, so I'll just, you know, disconnect the solar and um, let them set overnight, and then I'll do my, uh, my specific gravity test, I'll, you know, draw some uh, electrolyte up and, and check that. So I'll do that uh, another time, probably do it tomorrow, but uh, definitely before I go on this next trip. All right, so got these hooked up in series, 12.55 volts. So there's my cable going from my positive to my negative on the back battery. And then, of course, I got my other lugs there uh, for my accessories and uh, my inverter and things like that. So 12.55 volts is where I'm at. I'm going to turn on the solar panel or flip the breaker and uh, get these things charged up. So you hook up your positive to the one battery and uh, you've got your jumper and then the negative to the front battery. So positive on the back battery, jumper between the back battery and the front battery. So the back battery's uh, negative to the front battery's positive and then your load uh, neg or the negative on the front battery um, to uh, complete the circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and get my solar panel breaker flipped and get these things charged up. All right, so solar panel is uh, charging 12.67 and slowly rising. So we'll let that go a little bit, let it get into a float stage, and then uh, I'll check everything overnight uh, tomorrow, let it uh, settle overnight, and then I'll check the true voltage tomorrow, but should settle in somewhere right around 12.8, uh, 12.9, somewhere in there. Uh, come in, check the lights, make sure that my propane detector's working and all the other little things here. 
the main is on. Of course, I have my converter off. I always keep my converter off because I've got the uh, I've got the um, inverter uh, hooked up to my shore power. That keeps all my AC circuits uh, inside the camper uh, hot when uh, I turn on my inverter. So right now I don't have my inverter on, but I can flip it on just to make sure everything's working here. Our inverter powers up. Make sure that everything's working properly on the charge controller. All right, it's been about four hours since this uh, has been on the charger, since the solar's been charging the battery. So let's check out the voltage. The panels are still on, so showing 13.42. <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the uh, <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and flip the breaker and uh, let the battery settle in and uh, then I'll get a you know a good reading in the morning. But yeah, these should settle in at about 12.85 uh, to 12.95 or something like that uh, right around in there. but I'll get a, a measurement tomorrow morning but all right, it's been a couple days since I installed these batteries and uh, had the uh, solar panels charge these things overnight. That was uh, two days ago. They've been resting ever since. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check the voltage, uh, true resting voltage here. All right, so the uh, breaker on the solar panel is off. So no charge has been coming in this whole time for two days. And we are at a resting voltage of 12.96. So I think that's good. Again, I'll you know be testing these out on my uh, trip to and from Texas uh, for my uh, RV tech training school and uh, doing a lot of boondocking. So be putting these things through their paces. Uh, run the coffee pot a couple of times, probably run the microwave in short bursts, see what the recovery is. Uh, I'm also going to be running my refrigerator off of 12 volt uh, DC. So I've got my alternator when I'm driving, obviously the alternator, and then uh, the solar panel will be turned on. So uh, done just some you know minor testing with that with the other batteries. And they kept right at about 12.8. Uh, while going down the road. So I think that's pretty good. I can run the fridge while I'm going down the road on uh, on 12 volt. And of course, as soon as I stop or, you know, anything like that, I'll have to, you know, turn it off or switch it over back over to propane. So I'll do that and, uh, you know, do a full review on these batteries after I've had, you know, probably a month of time on them. So Thanks for watching and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know I say that at, at the end of every video, but it uh, really helps the channel if you guys subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. So again, thanks a lot and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.